Hello and welcome back to The Shed. Today I'd like to introduce the new library of scripts that I've written for Cyril called Astro Barbecue. I'm going to show you how to install them, I'm going to show you what they are, and I'm going to show you how to use them. So, without any further ado, let's go to the desktop. The first thing you need to do is to upgrade Cyril to version 1.2.1. Once you've done that, we'll move on to the next step, which is to create a custom scripts folder for the Astro Barbecue scripts. Okay, so install the Astro Barbecue scripts, create a custom scripts folder for them. You shouldn't really store these scripts within Cyril's main scripts folder, because when you update Cyril, there's a good chance they'll get wiped out. So we create a custom scripts folder anywhere really, on your computer, just keep it outside of Cyril's main directory. Uh, so here's my custom scripts folder. And within it, I've downloaded the zip file, which you'll find a link to in the description below. And I've unzipped it into here. The next step then is to open up Cyril. Click the hamburger icon. Click Preferences, go to Scripts, add the path to your custom scripts folder in here, and click Apply. The next step is we're going to click the hamburger icon once more, open the Preferences up again. This time we're going to go to the top item, the Debayer section. We're going to just untick this box here, Then we're going to make sure that the setting uh, for our Bayer Mosaic pattern is GBRG. Once we've done that, you can tick this box again, click apply, and you're done. And that basically now has set up um, Cyril ready to use the scripts. Uh, what we need to do now is close Cyril. Reopen it. And here you are, you've got all the scripts. Uh, they're all ready to go. So next I'm gonna go through each of these scripts in turn and just show you what they do and how to use them. First item we've got is the Astro Barbecue Mega Stack item. So what we need to do for that is we'll set up a project folder here it is, and within the project folder we create a subfolder called Substacks, all lowercase just as it's shown, and within that folder we place all of our Substacks that we want to make into a mega stack. Before we do this we figure out which of these stacks is going to be kind of the main stack, like the reference stack that everything else will stack around. So what I'm really saying is you want to find a you know a really good clean stack that is the correct orientation. And just to ensure it comes to the top of the list, I've just put an underscore in front of the name, as you can see there, just edit the name. And what that will do, if I just refresh that a minute, is that will make sure that that item is at the top of the list. So that one will be used then as the reference. Okay, so we've set this project up now. I've called it test data three. We go to Cyril, we set it up as the home directory, Cyril test data three, there you are, you can see the substacks. We click open. We go to the scripts. Click on mega stack, run the script. Okay, and that's now uh, completed. Uh, if we just click open a minute, we can see we've created this result.fit, and that's our mega stack. We'll just quickly open that, put a temporary stretch on it, uh, and there it is. 
Okay, so that's um, the mega stack item. The next one we're going to do is process with PCC. I won't bother with process without PCC because effectively these two items here are the same, except this one doesn't require you to run the photometric color calibration before you run it, but otherwise they're identical. So I'm going to skip this one and go on to process with PCC. So process with photometric color calibration. So the first step of that will be to run photometric color calibration. Uh, so here we are. So we put in M31. We go find, we found that. The focal length here could vary because it might pick up, it depends which focal length it picks up out of the whole stack. So we might have to manually adjust these, but we'll try it. We'll try it as it is a minute and see if this is going to be correct. Yeah, okay, so that worked fine. But uh, if, if it's not correct, uh, then you really need to look at what you've stacked. So you, you might need to um, change these values uh, accordingly. If you're using one by one binning, uh, these settings here should work fine. If all the stacks, if all the sub stacks were two by two, you might find that you need to change this to 2.9, the pixel size value. And sometimes you just need to tweak these values. Sometimes you, people are using like 1.44 or 1.43, but generally it should be somewhere in this region. So once that's successfully done, we can click close. I'll just put that back to linear. We run uh, Astro Barbecue process with PCC. Run the script. And there you have it. That's, so that's now ready, that's stretched uh, and ready to start doing some other work on. Uh, you've also, if I just open this folder again, you've also now got um, two additional files, uh, the starmass result dot fit and the starless result dot fit, which is basically the stars in the background in separate in separate files. Now the next items are they're, they're sharpening items. So they uh, apply an unsharp mask. Uh, the only problem with these is that they don't because they're actually running scripts that they don't get included in the undo history so you can't undo them uh, for that reason it's a, it's advisable to, to probably save some sort of copy either save the original if it will let you or just save a copy of it because then you can just go back to the copy so if I just save this a minute Right, now I can start applying the sharpening and if I don't like the way it comes out, I can just go back. But I'll just show you a bit about how it works. Well, we'll try the fine first, uh, which you might not see very much. It, it is pretty subtle, but uh, I'll just run it and see if we can see what happens. You might see it did tighten it up slightly. So if we go for the medium, Now you definitely saw it sharpen up quite a bit there. And then we can go for the sharpen course. And it, you can see it probably over sharpened it now. You can also apply these more than once. So, you know, if you, if you think the medium is what you wanted, then you could, in fact, you might sometimes find you want to apply a medium, um, you know, fine and a medium. Anyway, if you don't like that, you can then just go back. Um, back to here to your pixel math result, which is what was saved. Open that and that's gone back. That's fine. So anyway, that's that. Um, the next one we've got, we've got a couple of different stacking options here. So you've got stack lights and darks, stack lights, darks and flats. If you want to include bias frames as well, then you could just use the normal OSC uh, pre-processing script. Uh, anyway, let's set up a project now to um, just demonstrate these two things. 
In fact, I'll just do the, the um, stack lights, darks and flats. Okay, so I've created this project folder for stacked lights, darks, flats. Within it, I've created a darks, a flats and lights folder, and obviously populated each folder with the corresponding files. So that's fine. So we go again to the home directory, Cyril, test stacking, that's it, and we select stack lights, docks, and flats as our home directory. Click open, so that's done. Now we can run the stacking scripts. So we're going to do um, lights, docks, and flats. So I'll execute that, and off we go. So I'll just cut away for a minute and I'll come back to you when it's finished doing that. And that's that. So we just go into this folder now. And here we are, we've got again result.fit. Open that one up. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just run the um, process without PCC on this one for a minute, just so we can see that working. And there you are, that's the output from um, that process then. Uh, the other one we've got here is uh, stack lights and darks, which is exactly the same, except you don't need a flats directory to do that one. Um, but basically it's exactly the same. Uh, obviously, as I've said before, I would certainly recommend doing flats if you can get around to doing it. I think it will give you a better result. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you find the scripts useful. If you're a Mac user, I hope everything translates okay for you. And if you have any problems with the scripts, then please remember they are beta, but leave notes in the comments and I'll do what I can. And finally, if you have any ideas for new scripts, then again, leave notes in the comments and I'll see what I can do. So once again, thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.